gonna show you a big contradiction for the Trinitarians, okay? Go to Isaiah chapter 43, verse 11. It says, I, even I am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior, okay? There is no Savior beside God. Well, Titus 2, 13, who is that Savior? Titus 2, 13 says, where's Titus 2, 13? Because we'll find out who that Savior is. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay, Jesus Christ is the Savior. So, let me get this straight. In Isaiah 43, 11, God the Father calls himself the Savior, but then here Jesus Christ is called the Savior. So do you have two Saviors? This is the mess that, that, that Trinitarians get themselves into, because they think there's three gods in heaven. They think there's God the Son, God the Father, or God the Father is scriptural, and God the Holy Ghost. And they think that these are somehow three, they're all fully God, but they're not three gods, they're one God. Well, you got a problem there, because God the Father calls himself the Savior, and Jesus Christ is called the Savior. So do you have two saviors? Or is Jesus Christ fully, completely God within himself? Meaning the fullness of the Godhead dwells in Jesus Christ. The Father is the soul, the Holy Ghost is the Spirit. It's that simple. There, Jesus Christ is, is the uh, Savior, and he is fully God, okay? So again, there's a problem for you. Are there two saviors, or is Jesus Christ fully, completely God? The answer is that Jesus Christ is fully, completely God within himself. There, there is no, there's not two saviors. Because if the Trinity was correct, there would be two saviors. So another one of the big theological contradictions that Trinitarians get themselves into. So don't be deceived by the Trinity. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.